Raiders Nation, thank you for tuning in again to the Nobody Greater Podcast with me, Christopher, your host of the show. Um, I want to give you guys a little bit of breaking news today. The Raiders, um, it was pretty much evident. I, I feel like every time you hear about a player flying in to visit with a team, nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, they're probably going to leave that city and that team with a contract. But we brought in Michael Kaiser, uh, I believe, late last night, yesterday evening, and um, he left today with a contract with the your very own Oakland Raiders, or not Oakland Raiders, I still got to have it, Las Vegas Raiders. Um, I really think this is a, uh, a move to shore up the fact that we lost Corey Littleton, um, but he was very productive with the Broncos. For the amount of uh, for the amount of times he was on the field, as far as he had 19 tackles. This is last year speaking. He had 19 tackles, uh, nine solo, ten assisted. He had no sacks, no forced fumbles, no uh, really. He had one safety. I I'll give him that one safety and 19 tackles. But this is coming on a limited role as a backup. Um, I don't really know if he's an upgrade over Corey Littleton. I'm a very big Corey Littleton, Denzel Perryman fan. Uh, I really, really, really like that combination. But, hey, um, Corey Littleton was a little bit of out, of, out of our price range. And we're still we're picking up Michael Kaiser, probably on a veteran, minim, veteran minimums contract. Uh, he's a 2018 fifth-round pick. He uh, got picked by the rounds, but he played majority of his career with the Broncos. And as we all know as Raiders fans, the Broncos suck. Um, and I feel like he made the best decision for himself. But, you know, as I said in my previous video, only time would tell in this situation. Hopefully he's going to see a lot more uh, field time. Um, and hopefully he can produce because when you sign anybody or draft anybody, you're expecting them to produce and in my ideology, I'm expecting them to overproduce so that they can get a bigger contract for their next contract. Some of these players are not getting big five-year deals, four years deals, three years deals. They're not getting the security like that was in the contract. And if they are, it's a type, it's a team-friendly contract to where they can either trade them, restructure them, or release them and take a low cap hit. So it's all a matter of him getting on the field um, and making making a bigger name for himself. And Las Vegas would be the perfect place for that. But we'll see. We'll see whenever the season starts. That's my take on the situation. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.